Adventurers vs. Ogre. Subjugation quest. To Ogre, unique individual. An ogre appeared in the forest. It's a unique individual that has high combat ability unlike the normal ogre species. The advanced party is mostly annihilated. From the survivor's information, it can be guessed that the ogre has several species, several special abilities. Estimated danger degree is B. A crowd looks at the request put up on the guild quest's board. There are high-rank adventurers who went for the other quests that didn't participate in the subjugation because they're resting when the ogre is question appeared. in question appeared. Their purpose is only one that's received the subjugation quest of the unique ogre individual, the revenge for their killed comrades of the same guild, the foothold to raise the rank, the money reward, and the experience points when subjugating it. Although the reason varied, everyone aimed at the ogre similarly. However, the opponent is a unique individual with little information. Moreover, the danger degree that can beat multiple adventurer parties higher than C rank completely. The danger degree B around means the lowest B and is the highest, uh, and the highest is still unknown. B-ish, B-tilde. Uh, therefore, the guildmaster decided to go with the strategy of gathering a lot of adventurers and subjugate it with the violence of number. The ones who were gathered in the guild were the adventurers who have the intention to participate in the subjugation. Everyone, thank you for gathering here. The guildmaster greets in front of the gathered adventurers. As we know, the op opponent this time is a unique individual of the ogre. It's considered that its status is higher than the normal ogre, and it also has unknown skills, including that it exceeds the normal species. The usually rude adventurers listen to the guildmaster's words silently. There are three features that are worth mentioning. That was the information that is very few survived adventures of the advance party brought back. First is an abnormal recovery ability. A strange recovery is done that can't be explained with the existing skills. When you think that its body emitted light, suddenly, at the next moment, the wounds seem to disappear without leaving any trace. Uh, moreover, it's said that even when NP, even the uh, even NP and SP is recovered, although there was the party that cornered the ogre, they were all killed because of this recovery. The adventures begin to be noisy to the guildmaster's words. Among that, there was a figure of a young man biting his lips. The hopeful young man who's called Rukuso. He was a survivor of the advance party. And in order to revenge for his comrades who were sac sacrificed to let him run away, to let, to let him get run away, he participated in the subjugation quest to heal the wound. The second, the rapid rise in combat ability. Although it's similar to the fighting spirit, it's clearly different. Although the activation time is short, its status skyrockets when this is activated. Because there's no change in appearance, deal with it by intuition. Although it's a very careless correspondence, that's also the adventurer's fight. Adapt and adaptation, adaption to the circumstances. <laughs> that's the best basic for the adventurers, and it's also the secrets. The third, the ogre possesses the magic sword. Moreover, it's two. The noise begin bigger than just uh, <laughs> bigger than just now happens. The magic sword with special powers, rare gods that have very few in numbers. The ogre has it. The weapons that is the normal that the normal ogre uses are the tree pole and stone axe. It was abnormal. Quiet. The noisy adventurers become silent all at once by the roar of the guildmaster. Oh, roar, huh? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Guildmaster, I have one question. Among that, one man raises his head. The A-rank adventurer, Goto. After subjugating the ogre, what happens to the ownership of the magic swords? The glance is focused on the guildmaster. In those glances, there's a desire that can't be concealed. It's a kind of an admiration for the adventurer to have the magic sword, and at the same time, it becomes pure status. It will be given to two people who have the greatest achievement. A shout of joy rises. The adventurer's motivation rises at a dash. Then depart! The moral is high, the experience is also high, and the number is many. Therefore, they don't think that they will lose. Oi, I've never heard of this. Goto wiped his cold sweat and the scream that breaks out in the surroundings. The confused adventurer runs through Goto's side, and the lower half of the body vanished. The ground where there should have been nothing there exploded suddenly. The adventurers are knocked down by the vortex of confusion in a blink of an eye, and the number is reduced one after another by the mysterious blast attack. It's not even known that where the attack comes from. Even if they run around trying to escape, they don't know where to run away. However, they are blown up after they ran around. Such a picture of hell was developed. If there's a reincarnated person in this place, it might be known that this is their scenery of the minefield. The adventurers intend to run away from the mysterious attack, but in reality, they are stepping the landmines by themselves. The mechanism is simple. By the illusion weapon creation, it's only create the magic sword with the self-destruction effect and the whole flame attribute, and they and bury it in the ground. The self-destruction effect is just as the name. The attack that can bring forth a bit bigger destructive power than normal by exploding the energy that dwells in the magic sword all at once. But on the other hand, the magic sword loses all the durability value if it's used once and breaks. The attack from a long distance comes flying this time to the adventurers who are moving about in confusion. The adventurer who received the direct hit has a big hole open in the body and was blown off. The state like uh, even a cannonball hit directly. However, it was a sword that came flying. 
The sword that specialized in durability is put in a cylindrical container, and it flies it by using the explosion of the self-destructing magic sword. It was an impromptu cannon. Landmines from the bottom of the bombardment from a distance attack in the adventure is without mercy. Goto confirms the situation and, return and turns back. Goto perceived that the exploding attack didn't happen at the back with his observing eyes. If he retreats, the explosion attack won't come. Goto run away. It's natural, because there's no way to win. The landmines from the bottom and the bombardment, bombardment from a distance. Then where's the main body? Goto has seen the answer by the clairvoyance skill. There was a figure of the ogre throwing away the freshly severed head of Neg, who, had deep, who has deep friendship with Goto and also a rank adventurer, roughly. As far as Goto remembers in Neg's story, it's said that the ogre's height is similar to the human, and it becomes bigger when it evolves. The height of the ogre that Goto saw with clairvoyance on the si was on size bigger than the human. It evolves, and it has the ability to easily crush an A-rank adventurer. On top of that, the unknown skill that creates this hell. On this day, Goto survived, and most of the other adventurers were trampled. Oh, shit! <laughs> All right, so uh, our, good, our good buddy Rath is <laughs> just killing anybody who tries to attack him. I wonder if he'll get a visit from uh, from uh, uh, Guri 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 Guri, Guri, Guri from uh, Ku Kuro Guri 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 Guri. Probably not. Maybe. 